Hey guys, welcome back to Construction Simulator 2015 with me, Brad M73, and it is now indeed 2015, so we finally made it. Um, let's see here. I think in the last episode, we got our roller. Yeah, we got the rolling machine. And I, <laughs> I kind of realized that uh, I don't think I have a way to transport it Nope, I don't. And I don't really think I've got enough money to do it either. Um, let's see, because we need to get the low boy truck, which is 100,000. And then, oh, and then there's a trailer. A low boy. Oh, I guess we can get it. That's not too terribly expensive. Or, I want to see how much it's going to cost to transport it. So what I'm going to do, uh, I think we have a special job, huge special, the stadium job. This is what I want to take. So we're going to accept this contract. And let's see here. And I think we can, tran whoop. Uh, roller. Wait. Oh, wait. Okay. <gasps> no, okay. Yeah. So we can actually take this. Okay. So it's going to cost us 760. So I'm just going to get ahead and say, heck with it. Let's go ahead and deliver it to the construction site. Um. Now we have to talk to a foreman. Is the foreman here? Oh, this is where this place is. Okay. Oh, I see a guy standing over there. Off in the distance. So yeah, it's like it's like freaking cold out. It's like I don't know. It's almost down to zero Fahrenheit. I think it's supposed to be like minus two Fahrenheit tonight or something like that. Really freaking cold. Um, so playing in this game reminds me of summer. <laughs> I wish it was summer. Greetings, Brad M seventy three. After you bought the roller, I remembered that there was a recent. There was recently a contract available at the Fuchsburg Soccer Club. They want to turn their cinder track into a playing field with grass turf. That's why we are here today. Okay. Uh, sounds like the perfect chance to... Okay. Definitely, but do not underestimate the difficulty of the job. Compacting the entire area will be hard work. We will get the uh, rolled sod at the nursery. We also need additional topsoil for the grass, but first we have to install drainage pipes. You, of course, need pipes. But there are already some there. As you can see, I suggest you get started immediately. Okay, I'll take care of it. All right, so. Um, oh, okay, there we go. I was like, what? Okay, jobs, <clears throat> active jobs. So, okay, so we got stage one done, yay. Stage two is transport eight cubic meters of earth from the gravel plant to the marked area. Okay, so we will need um, let's see. Well, I know I don't know which truck We'll do, does this one have a, okay, that's in and out, Q, E, Y? No, that's that, C, okay, no. Yeah, I don't think this one can actually transport dirt. So we're going to go, ah, frame rate. We're going to go in this one, because this one I know can. Let's see. Yeah. Hello. It's okay. I can tell it's been a been a couple weeks actually I think since I played this game um, I've you know doing things for you know the Christmas holiday and all that stuff I just want to make sure I can't tip this one up no 
Yeah, I can't tip this one up. All right, so we're going to have to go, we have to do kind of a speed run to uh, get the dirt here. So I have to, this, this, this episode I think might be quite a long time. But yeah, it's been, uh, or it might be a long episode, not a long time. Might be a long time. Gosh, I'm going insane. I'm hungry, that's what it is. I'm waiting for my food, so my brain's not working. Actually, I don't think my brain ever works, so, you know. You know how that is. Oh, anyway. <laughs> Alright, so let's uh, drive through town. Yeah, I... I uh, let's see, what have I been playing lately? I've been playing a lot of... Uh, well, Seven Days to Die, Wasteland 2. Nothing really new there. Um, and uh, just to not... I'm not sure. Every time I kind of thought about playing construction sim, I was kind of, eh, I don't know if I want to play or not. <clears throat> and plus, I, you know, I've been doing farming sim and, and uh, you know, a bunch of other games. I bought a bunch of games uh, over the Christmas uh, Steam sale because they were, you know, super dirt cheap. Um, so, so that's kind of cool. Got a, got a bunch of new stuff to play around with. Um, not necessarily stuff that I'm going to be doing episodes on, but, uh, you know, stuff that's going to be fun, I hope. <laughs> um, let's see, in other news, oh, I also got uh, got a, pretty much all the pieces ordered for the uh, the new gaming rig. Uh, I got the, uh, the Asus uh, ROG Swift 27-inch uh, monitor. Uh, it's kind of a pure game, you know, purest gamers monitor, so that should be pretty cool. Um, I got everything for the main PC except for the keyboard and the uh, the main CPU. Um, I can actually get the uh, main CPU locally for about two hundred fifty dollars less than I can online. So yeah, I'm gonna well, really about two hundred dollars less than I can online. So yeah, I mean. Who wouldn't do that? Um, I need to look at the map here. Because I think, yeah, i got to make it right. Wait, why is it telling me... Oh, it's telling me to go over there. Okay. So, I, ah, so I pretty much have everything on order. I'm probably going to do some unboxing videos... Um, you know, the different components uh, as they arrive. They should pretty much all come together. I got a really big Cooler Master case to put everything into, and, um, uh, you know, I just have to run, you know, take a 30-minute drive to pick up the processor. So um, that's not really, that's not really going to be, like, much of a problem. So, um, so yeah, looking forward to that. Looking forward to building it. Um, I am going to do a build video of it. I'm not exactly sure how to do it because um, I'm pretty ugly looking, and um, you know I got to do something. Oh no, what did I do? I didn't want to go this way. Oh well, maybe there's an off ramp up here, and I'll get lucky. Yeah, so I I was kind of like uh, I can do like a time lapse. I'm definitely going to do a time lapse of some type because it's going to just take you know, forever. I mean, just Windows installing is going to take... No, I'm not, I'm not going to bore you through Windows install. Um, but uh, I'm going to kind of guess that it's probably going to take maybe an hour to possibly like an hour and a half to, to get everything assembled. Um, I, I can't imagine it taking much more than that. I mean, it, this is stuff that I used to do back in the day, and... Um, now, I used to build eight computers a day, um, you know, years and years ago. So the technology's changed somewhat, but, you know, I'm looking at the cases now. And actually, you know, the nicer name brand cases uh, seem to be a lot better uh, than they used to be. Uh, one of the, A, there's never really been kind of like, you know, going back over the course of 20 years, that I've been, you know, doing that kind of stuff. There's never really been like, you know, a brand of of cases that's really kind of stood the test of time. <clears throat> there have been recently, you know, you've got companies like Corsair and Cooler Master and 
um, you know, a few other ones that, um, uh, you know, that, uh, ah, what was this guy stopping for? What are you stopping for? Making me lose my train of thought. Um, but, you know, back at, like, especially in the 90s, I mean, you'd have, like, these brands that pop up for a year or two, and then they would go away. And, of course, there's, like, you know, the big brands like HP and Dell, you know, all their stuff was always proprietary anyway. So, you know, if you bought a HP desktop PC, you were pretty much, you know, going to get a, um, you know, a computer that you couldn't really upgrade or, or you know, you couldn't upgrade that much on it, really. So, um, you know, now the, with the new ATX cases and stuff like that, uh, it's a bit different. Um, I mean, the, the, the PC, like I said, the ATX, the ATs and the ATX cases, they've been around quite a long time. So, um, actually, I think my old Alienware PC might actually be an ATX case, even though it's like ridiculous. Oh, wait, where am I supposed to go? Um... Oh, I think I have to back. I think I have to back into one of these things. And it's going to charge us. Okay, so we've got four cubic meters, and I think we have to do eight cubic meters. Ah, that was 2,000 bucks. <laughs> So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do some type of a video. Um, and uh, you know, for the build at least. And uh, I don't know really exactly how I'm gonna do it because I'm kind of weird about being on camera. Um, I don't know, I just I just am. I, I'm not a, like a bad looking guy or anything like that. I'm just kind of, I get, I'm not, I can't say I'm camera shy. I actually do a lot of photography, so. Um, you know, like everybody, you know, when you see yourself in a video, you're like, oh my God, I'm the ugliest guy on planet earth. Uh, <laughs> um, everybody's like that. I think when you see your picture, you're like, oh my God, that's the worst picture. And then, you know, other people think, oh, that's a great picture. And you're like, no, it's not. I look, you know, cause we see ourselves in the mirror, you know, when you, when we get up in the morning, you look at yourself in the mirror and stuff like that. And. So we kind of have a different mental picture of ourselves compared to the actual picture of ourselves. So, but anyway, I don't know. I'll figure something out. I'll make some type of a decision. And uh, you know, it's not like I've been on, you know, not been on camera before. It's just it's so freaking cold, and I hate being. And you know, I don't really have a, like the best place to record. I guess I'm just going to do it on my. Uh, you know, in my dining room table, uh, if I can call it that. And um, I don't know, we'll go, we'll figure something out. Okay, so there's the roller. Okay, so where are we supposed to dump this stuff off now? I see some. Uh... Oh! Okay, so I guess this right up here is where we have to dump all the dirt off. Okay. Okay. But yeah, I, I think um, if you guys watch any of my videos, I think my farming sim video, um, I might have uh, kind of gone through the computer, the PC specs. Basically, um, I'm starting off with a Cooler Master case. Um, I think it's the Cosmos um, case. It's a pretty big one, plenty of room for future upgrades if I ever need to uh, upgrade. And... Um, Let's see, we're going to be going with the uh, Asus X99 Deluxe Motherboard, 
And the Intel uh, 5960X uh, processor, <clears throat> which is really the best i7 that um, Intel makes at this, like, you know, right now. Uh, going with 16 gigabytes of uh, Corsair Vengeance RAM. Um, the uh, for video cards, I'm gonna. I went with the um, uh, ASUS GTX 980 uh, Poseidon. Uh, it actually has built-in water cooling, but I'm actually not going to be using the water cooling unless you know, you know, unless I really go crazy or you know, someone were to, you know, set me up with water cooling for free. Um, and um, oh, I've got a Samsung Evo one terabyte hard drive. I got a Western Digital Black two terabyte secondary drive. Um, which I, I even think that's pretty big because, because I don't really foresee myself needing much more than two terabytes. Um, I do all my archiving um, off off system anyway, so um, you know those are those are always on uh, portable drives uh, or external drives, I guess. Um, and then uh, you know, so I don't really see the need, or I don't really have the need to have that much internal storage. But I, I definitely wanted the, the super fast uh, solid state drives for the um, you know the main hard drive, and I I kept telling myself I'm going to go with like a a uh, a 500 gig version, but then literally in three months, you know, because I, when I was looking back in like September and October, a 512 or basically a 500 gigabyte solid state drive was still about 512 dollars. And now I can get a, a, th a thousand terabyte, or I'm sorry, a one ter terabyte. Yeah, I wish it was a thousand terabyte. I can get a one terabyte SSD for, um, did I get, am I full? Yeah, I guess I'm full. Um, I ended up getting the one terabyte for less than $500. So I was like, yeah, it's a no brainer. So, um, so yeah. Uh, I think I'm definitely going to be hiring a worker on this job, or I don't know. I don't know. We'll, we'll have to wait and see. I want to see how long the uh, the actual compacting with the roller takes, because uh, it might take a long time. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I got the SSD. I'm trying to think of what else I kind of rounded things out. Oh, I got an Asus. Just a little cheap Asus uh, DVD drive rewriter. Um, that's just for installing software. Uh, got Windows 8.1, 64-bit. Um, there's no need for the Pro version. Um, you know, some gamers, you know, might be like, "Oh yeah, I got the Pro version." Yeah, there's no really need for it. And there's also not really a need for more than 16 gigs of uh, memory. Um, you know, a lot of people, they kind of, they're like, oh, yeah, man, I got 16 gigs of memory, or 32 gigs, or 64 gigs. Um, yeah, most games don't, will never allocate more than 8 gigs of RAM. Um, you know, if you're, if, if you're running 64-bit, there's not too many games out there yet uh, that are, you know, have a native 64-bit mode. So, um, you know, and even then, you know, 8 gigs is usually more than enough. Uh, for most modern games, um, you know, so why anybody would need more than 16 gigs unless you're doing, um, you know, really high-end fo photo editing or more specifically video editing, you know, if you're doing, uh, especially like 4K video, yeah, you're probably going to need more than 16 gigs of uh, memory. Um, but chances are, if you're a gamer, you know, you're not going to be doing that. You're not going to need that that much uh, RAM. So I just stuck with 16 gigs. Uh, it is 2800, uh, 2800 megahertz RAM. Um, so so that's good. I, I kind of felt that it was in like that's like the sweet spot for memory speed because when you go fast or when you go faster than that, boy, the price really starts to skyrocket on memory. So uh, I didn't uh, opt to do that. Whoop! There we go. Up here, what the heck? Why does it say it's not? F oh, God. 
Well, I guess we're going to be making another trip. So, um, I'm going to stop talking for a second. I'm just going to, we'll time lap this tri trip really quick. Um, so that, uh, you guys don't have to wait around for me to, to make a third trip. So, uh, enjoy the time lapse and we'll be right back. Okay, and we are back, and um, I'm going to just switch to an external view here so I can <clears throat> back the truck up and uh, make sure we get all the soil in here. I don't know why, because it, the mission specifically says 8 square meters. We've got 4 square meters here, so I don't know if I'm dumping it too fast or what's going on. What the heck? It has to be... Oh, maybe I have to uh, drive the truck away? You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. What the heck? I don't get it. I do not get it at all. Um, hmm. I actually want to see here. Where is the vehicle dealer? Yes. Oh, crap. I didn't want to. I didn't want to deliver this vehicle there. Um, I want to see how much a bigger dump truck would cost. Um, no vehicles. No, oh, already got that one. It is the half pipe truck. Small half pipe truck. See, we could get the half pipe truck right now. What does this say? Gross weight doesn't really say how much. Eight times four. Me oh, it doesn't really say how much it's gonna call or it's gonna hold. Let's go ahead and buy it just because YOLO. And uh, hopefully it'll be over here. Yep. So we got our big half pipe truck since we want to carry tons of dirt and uh, and we'll head up to the um, I guess we're just gonna have to head up to the the uh, gravel pit again and get the last bit of dirt because I have no idea why uh, this isn't working I have no idea how much this truck is gonna hold either um, So, uh, I don't really know. Uh, one thing I'm really looking forward to seeing uh, performance-wise on the new PC is really what um, what type of um, frame rate that I'm going to be getting on a lot of the new games. Now, I've been hearing some horror stories, especially about Construction Simulator, uh, that, you know, people with really high-end PCs are still getting horrible frame rates you know like like I am right here um, so and, and there hasn't been an update for a while in this game so I'm kinda disappointed about that I don't really know if development is continuing I think they've got a really good thing going here with construction sim 2015 more so uh, over the old version I just don't know.
from what I understand, uh, there is mod support, but I haven't seen any mods at all for it yet, so who knows. Um, it, you know, it'd be a shame to waste the potential of this game because, let's see if I can get in here before these cars, yay, um, because this is a really great game. I, you know, the more, the more I play it, the more fun I'm having with it, and, you know, the more it's, it's exceeded my expectations, um, and, and being that it's a budget title, uh, that's already been out for, you know, two and a half months or so, I think. I think it came out towards the end of October or early November. I don't remember which. <clears throat> but, yeah, it came out. And um, I've seen it on sale a few places already. You, need, you have to look around for it. But um, I didn't even think to look uh, to see if it was on sale for the, you know, the big Christmas Steam sale. But, um but you know, if you buy, if you, you can probably find it in a retail store for pretty cheap, especially in Europe. You probably won't in the United States, but uh, ah, I don't know. I don't know if it's been out here or not. All right, so let's see how much dirt this is going to fill us up with. I mean, we did three loads back there, so I don't know why. God, this, all this dirt's going to break us up. It's probably going to be like 8,000, gosh. Probably like 10,000 euros. And it is 10,000 euros. Ouch. So yeah, why it you know the two the two loads that I already or the three loads should have been more than enough. So I don't know. There must be some type of detection, you know, you know, detecting the uh, the amount of dirt that's uh, <clears throat> being deposited out of the uh, out of the truck. Ugh. Well, that sucks. But I guess it is what it is. Nothing I can do about it now. Wait, I can stop and re <laughs> restart the episode. Actually, no, you can't really with this game because it kind of saves everything on the fly as you as you go. Hurry up, buddy, turn. Okay, he's turning left or right. I'm turning left. And this is like this has been like the driving episode. Driving. Episode Simulator 9000. Um, but yeah, I was, I was definitely wanting this PC because uh, Grand Theft Auto 5 is going to be out uh, around the end of this month. Um, I've heard January, I think it was January 27th. Um, so I want to have everything built by then um, and ready to go. Uh, the Let's see, what was the other thing? Um... I keep hearing rumors that American Truck Simulator, you know, it is going to hit shell. Well, you, you don't know. Uh, American Truck Simulator is said to be coming out February 20th. Um, I actually have a pretty good source uh, for that date. However, I haven't checked with said source recently to see if that is still indeed the expected date. So, I don't know. That thing almost looks full, but it's like one pixel width away from being full. Alright, so what's going to happen now?
All right, so. Okay, there we go. Clear the construction area, half pipe truck. See, that got her. That got her done. Yay! All right. Ah, compress the marked area. Okay, so now we have to go use our roller. Sweet. Check out the inside of the roller here. Kind of looks old and rusty. Oh gosh. It's articulated, so it's kind of difficult to drive. Ooh, this is cool. I'm going to compress the parking lot just because it's fun. Oh, this is going to take a while, I think, guys. Alright, so... We have quite a bit to, uh... Alright, so... How do I turn the roller back on? I have to hit X. Alright, let's turn those off. Alright. <clears throat> now we can just kind of... Uh, Okay, there we go. I want to be right on that line as well as I can be. Okay. Okay, we're going to turn the compressor off. And we're going to line up with this. I'm just going to kind of do a square. That way, um, you know, once we kind of get things going, um, you know, I won't have to worry about the outline as much. Um, <laughs> my OCD is kind of kicking in. I was always one of those kids that uh, I had an art teacher back when I was a little kid. And... Um, had a coloring book and they were always like you know always color inside the lines I was like okay <laughs> so this is this is in a way kind of the same thing I'm coloring inside the lines with a with a big roller okay Go down the line here, and then hopefully, ah, OCD. I wish this game was uh, compatible with some steering wheels, because that would be awesome. Um, also, uh, I've noticed that my construction sim videos have been doing really well, um, so I'm hoping to to really start maybe pushing out some more videos um, at least maybe once a week um, I might even try to go for two a week if I can uh, especially you know once the new PC gets here and everything which should be next <clears throat> next week sometime um, you know I that should dramatically help me increase uh, how much content I can get pushed out because a lot of it is just you know the boring stuff sitting around waiting for videos to render and <laughs> so yeah all right so now we've got that done um, let's see if I can just make this turn here probably not okay let's turn this off
basically how I would love to do this is you know, if I can just roll this up <clears throat> just get like a nice curve going okay get around the corners ah. okay I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna start turning here okay new contracts available <clears throat> Yeah, this thing's a little bit snaky. <laughs> Just saying. All right, so this will hopefully get us like a better turning radius here. Yeah. It's kind of hard to see. I mean, I, I just, I can't stand articulated vehicles. <laughs> They're such a pain. All right, here we go. I got a feeling that this is going to be a pretty long, pretty darn long construction job because we're going to have to, you know, once we get this done, we're, we still have to do probably three, I think there's three or four segments of the field that we all have to, you know, put down and compact. Now we can hire workers to do that. Um, and I probably will hire a worker uh, to do the, uh, the dirt picking up, picking up of the dirt. At least once our, you know, truck, our dump truck runs out. I'm going to call it a dump truck, not a half pipe. I've never heard it called a half pipe before. Tony Hawk uses a half pipe, not uh, construction guys. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's, it's a European thing. I'll chalk it up to it's a European thing. I mean, I'm, I'm doing fairly well, aren't I? Now on the little finish chart up there, it looks like I'm I've done a lot more than I feel like I have. Come on. Now I'm doing a horrible job. <clears throat> All my uh OCD uh fans are unsubscribing right now because <laughs> I've got like sp spots and stuff it's like I know I'm with you don't, un don't unsubscribe please it's very difficult actually to get this thing you know going in a straight line probably because of the articulation there I got a I got a little bit of that sliver there okay we're kind of going in a straight line there we go up Might as well just get that while I'm here. See, we're going to be done here in a second anyway, so. 
it's just gonna everything's gonna be magically done. Man, it is so cold out. Yeah, there we go. It is so freaking cold out. It. Oh, now we have to get turf from the nursery and drain. Oh, God, are you kidding me? All right. I'm going to turn this off and we're going to drive. See, watch. Uh, okay. Maybe not. All right, so we need the flatbed bed truck with a crane. I'm just going to transport this guy up to the nursery. And, um, <clears throat> we'll go ahead and get everything loaded up here. Yeah, because if I look at the job, look, watch. So there's stage three, so I got stage two done. Stage three is compressing the area, which I've done, uh, putting the turf on, dropping the drain pipes off. Stage four is compressed turf, drain pipes. Stage five, more earth. Stage six, Oh, okay, so that, that's not going to be too terrible, bad, and step, okay, so step seven. All right. Uh, the worst part's going to be picking up the, uh, like, all this stuff. Okay, so four turf from the nursery and two drain pipes. So I'm just going to get four of each since we can always get more. Well, eh, we're going to have to make the trip anyway, so it's not going to be that big of a deal. Miscellaneous turf. Purchase. And then I think I need to get, let's see, turf. Drain, yeah. So we have to actually make two runs. And this one's always the one that's buggy, remember? Like the stuff that I get. Now, there have been some people who've said, well, why don't you use the crane on the truck? And I, the crane is a lot slower, I think, and I can just deal with the buggy pallets, in my opinion, a little bit better than I can with the others. So. I want to make sure, okay, there we go. See if I tip it back, yeah, cargo fastened, good. <gasps> oh God, oh geez, what the? Well, at least I got a low CG. <laughs> uh, that's never happened before, that's, that was weird. Nope, turn the other way. Uh, I def, whoop. I definitely do not want to do that again. Man, it's freaking cold. Sorry. I'm <laughs> Like I I turn I would have swore I turned my heat on before I started playing and it's so cold. It's like 1 degree out or I don't know. It's supposed to get down to minus 4 Fahrenheit tonight, I think is what uh, they were saying. Or minus 2 or something. I don't know. 2 4 same difference. Um, the last time I checked for all my European viewers, uh, it was negative 17 degrees. And what's going on? Don't pause like that. You give me, making me nervous. Yeah, minus 17 Celsius. Um, I didn't see what the low is going to be. I thought it said like minus 20 or 22 Celsius. So, um, yeah, flipping cold. And raise up. Nope. Okay. Well, they, they don't seem to be that buggy this time, which is good. I don't mind. Oh, 
Uh oh. But I think I'm going to deliver this, and I'm probably going to call it an episode, and I'll make this like a multi part episode of Construction Sim. Because I know you guys want to see what the um, completed stadium. Uh, heck, I want to see what the completed stadium is going to look like. Actually, we've driven past there quite a few times, and I think it just looks like a soccer stadium. Um, it's like we've already built it, even though. Or we're rebuilding. I don't know. I don't know how this game works. Okay. <laughs> Why are we pausing every time at the same spot? I just want to make sure that the cargo gets fastened. That way, um, that way it won't fall off. Let's see if I can get. Come on. All right, there we go. All right, one more to go, and then we, we'll just run up the street, pick up the, uh, the, the pipes. See, it's pausing right there in that same spot every time. Don't know why. I don't know why. Um, had a few people uh, make some comments on my video, on my uh, construction sim video about the Euro pallets and them being like a specific size. And I'm going to apologize right now. Um, I don't remember what that size was, but they were like, yeah, they're called Euro pallets because they're like a certain size compared to other types of pallets, I guess. So they said it actually is a specific type of pallet. And, uh, I learned something. That's pretty cool. Oh god, no. Uh, what are you doing? Alright, let's try turning this bad boy around. It seems like I've got like this invisible force field that's not wanting me to get this uh, transported. There we go. Cargo and fastened and awesome. So I'm gonna drive. See, same same time. It's like there's like an invisible barrier there, or something on maybe how the game is, uh, how the map is laid out, where something has to load. So let's, I don't know. Kind of, kind of aggravating, but not, not really all that bad, I don't guess. Attach cargo. Put up the. There we go. Now it's telling us to drive back there, but I don't want to go back there. I want to go get the uh, pipes or whatever. What do we have to get? Okay, we got the f turf. We got to get drain pipes. Yep. Ah. Uh, game not performing well. <laughs> I, you know, it's been a f like a week since I've rebooted my computer, I think, so maybe I need to reboot. I don't know. Um, I get a lot better performance overall under Windows 8 uh, and 8.1. Uh, I updated to 8.1, I don't know, over the summer, I guess, or whenever it was available for free. Actually, I don't think I upgraded immediately because I was kind of scared that, you know, it was going to be like, not not as good or it was going to be a big pain in the butt so i kind of 
waited to update, but then when I did update it, I was like, oh yeah, this is pretty good. Um, there's a lot of people, you know, specifically gamers that say, oh, you know, I'm never going to go to 8.1 and, um, you know, Windows 7, Professional, or, you know, stuff like that. Honestly, like Windows 8.1, you know, I think I've talked about this before in other videos, but Windows 8.1 is way better than I ever thought it would be. Like, no joke. It is... It, as far as... I hate the I hate that, you know, the, the apps and the, you know, little... Win, I, I call it Metro, but it's the... Because I think that was the original code name for the you know, the weird tiles interface. Um, but um, whatever they call that, I don't like that at all. I think it's dumb. Um, they should just go back to the way things were. Um, you know, it was good enough, and uh, and it worked great. I think they just needed to refine the old, uh, the old uh, look instead of this, you know, trying to be all trendy and... They're basically trying to copy Apple is what it is, because Apple has been ridiculously successful with their App Store and iOS and all that stuff. And so all these different companies are trying to, you know, I don't know why they're trying to make the desktop look like their mobile operating system, though. I don't know about you. I mean, there might be some people out there that like Windows Phone, but I sure as heck don't know anybody. I know like one person that got a Windows phone and it was, they bought it because they couldn't afford something better. So, it's like, oh man, I'm so sorry. Or it might have been a woman, who knows. Okay, ah. Uh. Okay, we're going to be done here shortly with this stage. Because all, all we'll have to do is, um, you know, just tip this stuff out. Or not tip it out, but, you know, pick it up with our crane and get it out. Alright, so we'll go ahead and... Too fast? Okay. Slow down, you're going too fast. Okay, got that attached. All right, let's make like a baby and head out. <laughs> Let me know if you got that one. Had to give you a few seconds, just in case. <laughs> All right. Come on, where's the inside? Okay, there's the in interior view. I think I hit uh, the V key one too many times. But um, but I'm glad you guys are liking this series. Um, I, I, like, my last video had, like, I don't know, three or 4,000 views or something crazy, um, which blew my socks off. Heck, my professional farmer videos, um, which that game came out, like, end of 2013, have, like, in the last month, they've gotten, like, 10, 15,000 views. I'm like, what the heck's going on? Why is everybody so interested in Professional Farmer now? Um, you know, so long after it's been released. But, you know, whatever. Um, it was kind of a shame that they, the company that, that developed it, you know, dropped the, dropped the publisher. Yeah. That's a UIG for you guys. Okay, but anyway, let's go ahead and pull in here. Why is it not showing the roller on there? It should be on there too. I don't know. Okay. Un, uh, put the sides down and we'll just pull up here and um, oh 
There we go. Okay. And tab. Let's see if I remember how to do this. No. Oh. No. Okay. I might have to jump out and get the straps off of the the load here, so I'll run around and do that. There right, we go. We'll just put those right there. Go. All right. Well, this one will have to be a little longer. So we're just going to get the uh, turf off of here, and uh, we should be ready for uh, the next segment of the uh, job. I don't know. Four pallets of turf I don't think would cover, <laughs> would cover that much of the field. But hey, maybe... Uh, Maybe my construction boys are uh, magicians. Okay. Oh, I just remembered. Um, I got... Um, with my with the video card I ordered for the new PC setup, I ended up picking up. Or, well, you, you can essentially choose one of three free games: Assassin's Creed Unity, Far Cry, and, and um, what's the other one? It's that new racing game, um, The Crew, I think. And originally, I thought I was going to going to get Assassin's uh, Assassin's Creed Unity. But I actually may go with Far Cry 4 instead, because I kind of think that Assassin's Creed is, you're going to be able to find it pretty easily for, you know, fairly cheap in the coming months. Because that's kind of what I did with Black Flag, and I remember getting Black Flag for like 30 bucks, you know, six months or so after it came out. So, all right, so there we go. I'm uh, going to head and do that. There we are. And, ooh, we can hire an additional foreman. So now we can actually get malt. It looks exactly the same. It looks exactly the freaking same. <laughs> oh. Okay, so we're going to have to roller this out. Um, well, what I'm going to do, guys since um, I'm not going to bore you to death with, uh, you know, watching the entire... Oh, well, you can watch it if you want. Um, I'm going to time-lapse this, and, um, you know, and we'll call it an episode, so you guys can close out the episode watching me, uh, you know, roll out this, um, this turf here. And um, hopefully you'll... Uh, you know, stop back for the next episode. So I'm going to continue on uh, with this and uh, the next episode, and we will eventually get this uh, this job done. Um, as always, I really appreciate you guys watching. Uh, thanks for all the support. Um, past uh, 8,500 subscribers, 8,500 subscribers. That's like a small stadium, like a basketball arena or something. <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't even... Uh, really pay attention to basketball either. 
Um, but yeah, that's pretty cool. So uh, should be hitting 10,000 pretty soon. And, um, you know, I'm looking forward to, um, you know, trying to do, you know, I'm going to try to put some thank you video together for you guys. And, um, you know, to sh show my appreciation for 10,000. I got never, I can't even believe it. You know, 10,000 subscribers is pretty, pretty crazy. No, no, I'm, I'm not going to complain. Um, but, uh, I really do appreciate all the support. I, I, uh, I'm, I'm still shocked that I'm, I am where I am and, uh, continuing to grow. So, uh, I must be doing something right. I hope, I hope, um, whether I'm enjoyable to listen to, or you guys think I'm funny or you like my voice or whatever the case may be, uh, you know, thanks again so much for, for watching. Um, as always, please don't forget to hit that like and share button that helps me out. Helps me grow my channel, lets other people know, hey, Brad's on YouTube. And, um, you know, as always, don't forget to comment and subscribe for more videos. So uh, enjoy the time lapse. Uh, this is Construction Simulator 2015. I'm Brad M73, and we will see you guys next time. Bye for now.